If you went on Indeed.com or LinkedIn and just search the word data for job positions, you would find close to 2 million results. This just illustrates the impact and relevance data has to our modern job market. Now, what do you think of when you think of data? An ocean of numbers, a spaghetti of spreadsheets, a boss yelling, give me the stats. How about pictures? I'm going to be showing you why reading numbers and statistics alone don't give you the full understanding of the data you may be interested in. Turn your attention to the screen and look at the green box with the numbers. You don't have to know what those numbers mean, but let me tell you that those are statistics that came from some data. Those statistics don't look too mm, interesting, but what if I told you those stats came from the data on the left side, the data that looks like a dinosaur? What gets crazier is the 12 data sets beneath actually have the same stats shown in the green box. This is called the data source dozen. And the lesson here is that just looking at the stats in the green box doesn't give us the full picture. You and I would not know what sort of data we were looking at unless we saw it on a graph and saw its shape. So this is the proverb I offer to you. Data has shape and that shape has meaning. The art of effectively seeing data with pictures is called data visualization. Aha, but now you may say, Amish, what do I do if I can't graph and visualize my data? That's when we need computers to actually see shape for us. And the fundamental question when using computers is, how can we get the computer to do what a human can do? This is the question that does, drives much innovation in the technology field, and it is what drives my research. My thesis is simply stated as, how can we better see and utilize the shape of data? I've been able to develop new ways for a computer to see the shape of data for us. I've coupled my research with advanced computer methods to help tell apart one data set from another. For example, my research can train a computer to tell the circle data set apart from the X-shaped data set on this screen. Once we are able to check that the computer is reasonably differentiating the shape of different data sets, we can begin trusting it to study the shape of data that we cannot visualize anymore. Solving simple problems like this serve as stepping stones to more difficult and impactful breakthroughs of tomorrow. The future applications of my work pour into biology, where we seek to better understand the shape and function of proteins in our body. We are also looking into studying shapes in real-time internet data quickly. So friends, when you say you have data, I hope you are able to also ask whether its shape is useful. If the shape is relevant, then I hope you remember my research. Now, whenever you go asking to see some data, make sure you know what you're looking at.